Hey, hi, this is Uma Mahesh from CRM Ones. In this video, I am going to explain the Power Apps code components for Canvas app. In my previous video, I just uh, explained about the uh, PCF controls for model driven apps, how we can add the out of box, con out of box PCF controls uh, to the model driven apps. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, just uh, have a look on that video also. Let's start with that uh, current, uh, the how we can add the port components to the Canvas app. So the code components for the Canvas app, the basically the app makers or the developers can use the PCF controls uh, to create or import the code components to Canvas apps by using the Microsoft Power Platform CLI. So here, when you when you are want to use the PCF controls for the Canvas apps, so there is some security considerations you have to take care of. The code components contains the code that may may not be generated by the Microsoft and potential and potentially can access the security tokens and data when, when it is rendered in the Power, Power Apps Studio. So when you add the code components, so let's say when you, when you want to add some code components to the your Canvas app, which is not developed by you or your company. So wherever, like if you are downloading from the, you are, you are downloading from the PCF gallery, and you have to be very careful on that uh, before that, before downloading and using that PCF controls, you have to be very careful on the security tokens. So only you should use the trusted sources only. The solutions which you are downloading or importing to the your environment that should be trusted. Or uh, you have to revalidate the code components that uh, is there any uh, secure, is there any uh, any vulnerability contains that like a virus and the any, anything they have taken reading the tokens right so that should be very, very careful so as a administrators and system customizers should review and validate all the code components before you importing to the before you importing so those components into the your environment. So this is security risk uh, considerations is very, very, very important for, especially when you are downloading this some, something from uh, third party systems or downloading from the, some, somewhere in the blocks or, or internet, you are downloading and you are trying to import it and try to use it. You should be very careful on the security side. And the, if you want to use the code components in your canvas app so the first step you have to do one thing is like a you have to get it the power apps license for that and other thing the system administrators you need a system administrator privileges is required to enable the code components for your environment for canvas apps but if you if, if you want to use for the code components for model driven apps you no need to enable that feature anywhere in the system but when you want to use the code components in your canvas app then you have to enable the feature in the system uh, in the system uh, in, in your in the environment settings right Let, let's see how we can enable that feature for the canvas apps because that's a very very most important thing so without you are without enabling the code components for the canvas app so you should not be able to import the pcf controls or like a code components into the our canvas app so let me uh, explain that how how and where you have to enable that uh, feature so the first thing you should log into the so admin dot power platform 
dot com so let me navigate to that so when you log into this admin dot or platform dot microsoft dot com you can see your list of environments or you can click on this environments so select your environment and open your environment here and here in the top you can see the settings click on that settings and in the settings we can see the product so if you click on this product under the product you can see the features so here all the features we have to enable it here the new features if you want to enable it so So once uh, you have opened that features, you can see the all the list of features which you want to enable uh, in your environment. So like you can see the embedded, the Power BI, uh, Bing Maps, and the prevent the social data to the dynamics. So here you can see, so there is a Power Apps component framework for Canvas app. So the initially, by default, it will be off, and you have to enable this one. Turn on, and we in the below you can click on the save. Okay, because currently here I, I have already enabled the component framework here. That's why it's uh, it's not allowing me to save. So when you turn off, you can see actually there is a change. That's why. So like this, you can turn on this component framework for the Canvas apps. Let me show you how we can able to see that uh, how we can able to add the component pc of controls or components to the canvas app let me log in to, uh, let me take go to the so here i don't want to save here and the first thing which I want to change the, my environment here. Let me change to this one because I have enabled that feature in this environment. Let me create a one blank app. Let me put the apps, create a new canvas app. So I can do the first this app name. So once you have this blank app is came, so when you click on this plus icon here, click on the plus icon, and you can see the get more components, get more components. When you click on this get more components, so here in the canvas app level, I, I don't have any components which I have created. So I can go to the code. So in the code level, so whatever the PCF controls or components which you built or which comes from the default solution. So we can select those things. Let me, I have like a only one component I have. So let me select and I click on, click on import. So that component will import it to the, my app and that I can see under the, if you click on a plus, under that in the insert you can see the code components here so what are the code components are imported in my canvas app it will be list here let's say if i want to add this code component to the screen i can add it so i can adjust this space so i can adjust the size and for each code component, there might be some properties you have to set it. So here, this prop, this thing will, will expect the list of the questionnaires and the positions and this height and width. And you have like a advanced, you can have some something in the ideas. There is some 
galleries you can you can configure it so like this you can use the code components sometimes if you don't need this code component in your app if you want to delete it you can select this you can select this one select the app and we can delete it so on the app you can select and from the screen you can delete it so yeah so like this you can add your pcf controls to the canvas app so PCF and code components are same. So PCF is like a Power Apps code comp. So PCF and code components are it's like it's like a uh, same thing. So, thank you so much for watching watching this video. So if you like it, please subscribe our channel. So to get these continuous updates. Thanks again for watching this video.